All right, y'all. Well, first and foremost, I want to say, call Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem and and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings be unto the hopeful elect. All right, so um, yeah, you seen it, man. Um, you know, evil men shall wax, shall wax worse, you know, and um, you know, brothers have been getting on, you know, Shikari, you know. So this is not what you know my video is about, you know, to to rebuke them guys, cause obviously, you know. You have a lot of rebuke videos out that done went out, and um, these men still haven't repent. But what I want to go go through real quick is to talk about, you know how, <clears throat> all right, this grace period that was given by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, which was you know given to us, you know, to get right and you know get our our, our hearts right, so to speak, our minds. All right, hey, you got certain men out there that, that is taking this uh, you know, liberty, so to speak, you know, to uh. You know, bring confusion, man. To do the, to do uh the opposite of just that, you know. You know, um, pretty much, you know, they're not taking the heavenly Father and the Son Yahweh Shai seriously, man. And, uh, you know, judgment is gonna go forth, man. You know, this is Ephesians two and eight. It say, "For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is the gift of the Most High." See, the grace that we were given is the gift of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. And therefore, a lot of people are taking this, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying, are receiving the gift, you know, and are trampling, trampling over it, so to speak, man. You know, they're trampling over the gift of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, because technically, you know, according to the law, you know, we all, you know, since we all went off, all right, we're all supposed to be, uh, you know, put to death, man. All right, but Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah had grace on us through his son Yahweh Shah, man. And a lot of people is not taking that sacrifice, you know, seriously, man. All right? You see a lot of things going on in the earth. You know, Esau about to come with that great wrath. All right? <clears throat> All right, famine's coming. All right, destruction is coming, man. All right, plagues is coming. All right, and we were supposed to, you know, take this grace period serious so that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh could be with us, you know, so that he can see on our works, all right, and our faith, whereby we believed in, you know, that... You know, he look upon us when we call upon him and deliver us, man. All right, because hey, the Lord made a promise that hey, if we if we do for uh, you know what I'm saying, if we uh listen to him, or right, he's going to deliver us, man. Okay, verse nine say not of works, at least any man should boast. You know, because you know during these past uh, past few days, you know, these guys have been boasting in you know the old uh, Levitical priesthood. You know, which I'm from the tribe. You know what what I believe to be. All right, I believe to be from the tribe of Levi, you know, so-called Haitian. All right, but you know, I understand that you know Yahweh Shai is the way. All right, the old Levitical, you know, priesthood, you know, because uh, uh, I've been I've been you know getting more edification off of that, you know, through brothers dropping videos. Now I understand that you know that old Levitical, all right, the old covenant is done away with, man. All right, and we understand that Yahweh Shai is the way. All right, so. You know, they, they, they've they taken this liberty to boast in the knowledge, you know, to take this knowledge to boast in what they know, all right? We're, what we're really supposed to do with this knowledge is to magnify Yahweh Shah, all right? To magnify Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right? And, and not ourselves, man, all right? Because the Lord say that he will, uh, you know, exalt us in due time, man. But a lot of these guys are using this knowledge to exalt themselves, all right? Which is not good, you see? This is um, uh, James 4 and 10, it say, Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up, all right? So, again, you know, and, and, and the Lord said that he will exalt us, man, all right? That's why we got to humble ourselves before Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right? In meekness and fear, okay? And and, and and that's and that's one thing that you don't see within Israel right now, is that fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man, all right? But, hey, when judgment starts to go forth, our fear will, fear will uh, you know, show but it will be too late to repent, man, because the Lord ain't going to be hearing your cries when your calamity come upon you, pursuant to Proverbs, the first chapter, man. All right, 20th birth and, verse and on down. All right. But us brothers, you know, and you, uh, you know, few sisters are that, that, that uh, repented and are humble. All right. How about Shem Yahweh Shah is looking upon you? All right. Looking upon your sacrifice or looking upon your meekness, man. Okay. Because hey, the Lord ain't dealing with pride, man. Okay, this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 23. It say, a man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Okay, because at the end of the day, all right, 
hey, the, the, hey, the proud is going to be proud and the humble is going to be humble, man. Meaning that, all right, at the end of the day, we, hey, we, we, we're going to get our reward pursuing to, uh, you know, according to, you know, what we, we've done, man. If we've been proudful, boastful, all right, and not magnifying the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh eventually, hey, you're going to get rewarded for, you know, all that pride that you've been doing, man. All right. And if you've been humble in spirit, all right, and magnifying the Lord, doing his will, all right, you're going to be exalted, man. All right. The Lord is going to, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, make it be known, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, of course. All right. That you, you are the one that stood stiffly for his name, that you that you did his will, man. All right. And not your own will. OK. And again, a lot of these people, you know, a lot of these guys are, you know, leaders in Israel are, are seeking their own glory, man. When the scriptures say to not seek your own glory. All right. But they seeking their own glory. They want to be, you know, glorified by their congregation, glorified by their followers, their fan base, man. All right. And, 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 where, and where is Yahweh Shai? They put Yahweh Shai behind them and they magnifying themselves, man. So when the Lord comes back, you got a lot to answer to. Okay. But, <clears throat> Salaki, I said I want to make this video about, you know, rebuking them guys, man. But, you know, the, the, the spirit had it to where, all right, it has to come out because, hey, we living in these, t in, in these times that we living in, man. No, ain't no time to be, to be bullshitting with the word of the Lord, man. Or saying that Hebrews is not the word of God. Saying that the word, of, the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is continuing about. That's all BS, man. All right, you're leading the sheep astray. All right, and ultimately we understand that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is using these men, all right, to 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 uh, keep those away that he doesn't want, man. Because at the end of the day, all right, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, has an elect that will be delivered, man. All right, and you can see these uh. These, 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 these lost Israelites, when they come on the comment board, you know, trying to, uh, you know, why don't you talk to them in person? Why don't you, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, all right, Jake is going to go to, who, Jake is going to go to who Jake want to go to, man, because a hey, time is going to come where, hey, the, the family of the world is going to come in and the ones that you've been listening to, those are the ones that you're going to have to, you know, uh, uh, you know, pretty much, those are the ones that you're going to have to go to for answers man all right those are the ones that you're gonna have to seek to, to, to find out what you're going on what's going on man okay and even in that time the, the, the ones that you were listening to are not gonna have answers because they were too busy magnifying themselves not the heavenly father and his son Yahweh Shah. okay this is Psalms 51 now I wanted to get this scripture to say that okay uh this is how we we're, we're really supposed to be in the grace period that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah gave us man you see King David was a great example of what humble uh, uh, is uh, Salaki. King David was an example of what hum, hum, Salaki, humility, for lack of better words, what to be humble looks like, man. You know, what to be humble is like, Salaki. Because a hey, King David uh, committed a sin worthy of death, man. And what did he do? He repented to the Lord, all right? Cried out to, to Yahweh by Shimei, I was trying to Lord forgave him. See, this is Psalm 51. And uh, one, it say. Uh, to the chief musicians, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba, pretty much committed adultery. Have mercy upon me, O power, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, man. All right, and us being in this uh, grace period, all right, this is you know what we should be crying out to the heavenly Father through His Son Yahushua, man. Or right, have mercy upon us through our you know, blot out our transgressions through our lifetimes, man. All right, in this grace period that you have given us, you know, blot out our transgressions. All right, have mercy upon us. All right, because again, you know, te technically, you know, you know by, the, by the law, according to the law, you know, we should all be put to death because we've committed spiritual adultery, man, against the Heavenly Father, man. All right, the Lord said, I shall have no other God before me. You know, coming up in this wicked society, this wicked world, uh, we've all, you know, gone off. You know, we, we've all, you know, grown up believing, you know, putting our trust in some other deity, if you will, man. And, 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 you know, the Lord, uh, hey, he's justified, for, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? If he, you know, let's say we didn't get a grace period. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah destroyed us. Or he'd be justified because we all went off and we sinned against him. But by his grace and by his mercy, man, hey, the Lord opened up a grace period through his son, Yahweh Shah, man, and that we could get right. All right? And, you know, certain of us, you know, you know Lord willing, I'm of the elect. But certain of us, take, you know, are taking his grace series, uh, it's so like this grace period serious, and then you got those that are playing with this grace period, you know, doing what they want to do, or right, not getting right with the Lord. But the time is going to come where the Lord is going to shut all this down, man. Our YouTube, everything, the word is going to be 
pull back, man. All right. And when, when all hell break loose, famine, you're going to be looking for, the, for for that bread, that spiritual bread and water. And you will not find it, man, because you did not take the grace period seriously, man. All right. So I'm going to end this lesson off uh, in Ephesians 2 and 8. And it say, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the most. I know this is a gift that we've been given, man. Because, again, technically we should all be done away with, man. But Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai gave us the gift of grace through his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Not of works, not not of works, least any man should boast. You know we have no right to boast because it's not of us that you know we still here, but of the mercy and the uh, you know the tender mercies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, believing in this gospel in truth and in sincerity. Until next time, I say Shalom.